Welcome back to Buddy RC. This is Eddie. Today on the bench, we have the ISDT K2 Air charger. Let's look inside the box and see what we have. So in this nice packaging, we have our user's guide, our instructions manual. It is in English. Then we have our screen protector. And then we have the charger. Under the charger, we have our AC power cable for the charger. Let's look at the outside of the charger here. We have dual ports, XT60s, and it does a 6S balance charge. It also has a USB-C with an output of 5 volts to 20 volts at 30 watts. So you can charge your cell phone, goggle batteries, things like that. We also have your exhaust fans on both sides. We have your AC power connection and your DC power input connection. For this demo, I'm gonna be using a Gen A6 cell for DC input voltage. So we plug it up to the DC port, which is an XT60, and it powers on. We have a nice colorful display it's got different themes, so it has the white background theme and the black background theme. So I opted for the black background for this video so that we can actually see what's going on with the screen. To test the charge, I'm gonna be using a Tattoo R9 battery. Let's plug her up. 6S. So there on the screen, you can see the total voltage you can see each cell, then hard press it. You're gonna have all your options. You have your task, which you can do charge, you can do discharge, you can do storage, and you can do destroy. So when your battery goes bad, use the destroy function to discharge your battery. Today we're just gonna do charge. So when you hit charge there, you got different chemistries you can do different types of batteries. So you got lithium polymer high voltage, you got lithium polymer, lithium ion, LIFE battery, you got the PD charging, you got the nickel metal hydride and NICAD, and you got your ultra LIFE high volt. Tells you the amount of cells, tells you the current for charging, So you can go all the way up to 20 amps and all the way down input voltage for the charger on AC is 100 to 240 volts on DC it is 10 to 30 volts output voltage is DC 10 to 30 volts. Charging current 0.2 to 20 amps on either channel. Discharge current 0.2 to 1.5 amp on either channel. Balance current is 1.5 amps max per cell. Charging power on AC power is 200 watts and on DC is 500 watts. USB output on the front of the charger is five volts to 20 volts at 30 watts. There's also an app that you can install on your phone that is a great companion for this charger. On the Play Store for Android, it is called ISD Link. This is what the app logo looks like. Just click it, it pulls up the app, and you're gonna hit the plus sign on the top right. And as you can see, I've already added this charger on this app. But if you were adding a new charger, you hit the little plus sign up here. It will start searching for the device. Click on the device. As you can see, it connects to your device and tells you your battery voltage per cell. And if you start your charger, gives you live update on the app. 
If for whatever reason you're on the other side of the room or you're away from the charger for a second, you can monitor your battery status on the app and you could also stop the charger from the app. There's a little stop button down here. Just hit stop and there it goes, it stopped. To go into the systems menu, we hit both enter buttons at the same time and there is your main menu for settings, system settings, your DC power on either channel. You got the parallel task and the dual task. So let's go into the system settings. Here we can see your lowest input voltage, 10 volts, maximum input, 1100 watts, your backlight, your high volume, your little tones for when it's done, split screens, how long do you want your split screen to last? You got your bat air channel one, channel two, your language, your theme, trickle charge is off as stock. You can do a self test. You can do calibration on either channel and a systems info. Just tells you the version of the software. And then you have your back button. If you wanted to use channel one, just plug in your battery into channel one. There it is on channel one now. The same operation, press and hold the enter button and you have your task, your chemistry, your condition, your cells, and your current. Start and back. So that is a quick overview of the charger please post your comments and your questions down below and in the description i will add the charger and the different batteries that we we're using for demonstration today and like always i'll see you in the next one